Um, I am just so honored that the whoever it is that selects the people to be on the Hall of Fame here would think of Fred Newhouse. Um, it is just, it was outside of all those things that I thought might eventually happen to me, but to be selected by the Drake Relays uh, committee is just truly an honor, and I can't thank you more. I can't tell you how much I truly appreciate uh, what you've done. And um, I was just knocked off my feet when Blake called me to tell me the good news. Um, but what I was really disappointed about was that Denny Young didn't call me sooner. <laughs> because for those of you, and Denny and I have been friends for almost 20 years, uh, Denny can't hold water. <laughs> so I was really disappointed that uh, I had to wait until Blake told me that the, it had been released for Denny to call me and say, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> but surely, for whoever thought of me, uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, for all of those who uh, elected to approve me, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I, I want to tell you that, um, like Dana, um, I didn't start in sports and track and field. Come from a little town in Hallsville, Texas, 650 people or so, and baseball was the thing in my, my little town. It was baseball. Um, so I never, even though I ran track in, in high school, I never really did very well, and so I didn't make it to the state championships. I didn't make it past the district championship in track and field, or any of that stuff. Uh, so at the end of my first semester in college, I decided that uh, even though my grades weren't that great, that if I studied a little bit, maybe I could also master engineering and participate in baseball. So in the spring of 1967, I went out for the uh, baseball team and made the baseball team. My only goal was to travel with the baseball team. You just travel. And we were losing something terribly. We had, and I was a third string right fielder. Um, and never got to play. But I was traveling. And that's really all that mattered to me. And one day, the baseball coach decided he needed to get rid of some of the dead wood, took us over to the track, put the guys that he thought were the fastest guys on the track at the same time and said, okay, whenever you win, and we're running a 400 meter dash. He said, whoever the winner is doesn't have to run anymore. So our track was a similar track. We had on our baseball uniforms with tennis shoes. Um, and I didn't want to run anymore. So <laughs> the track coach was out there. Uh, I ran the 400 meters, uh, won the race, and um, I took off and left. The next day I come to baseball practice, the baseball coach tells me, Newhouse, you don't work here anymore. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about, coach? He says, turn in my stuff. You run track. I said, no, I don't run track. He said, you do now. <laughs> so he cut me, uh, and I went back to my dorm room. And uh, later that evening, three guys showed up, and they said, we saw you run, and we need another leg on our, four by, our freshman four-by-one relay team, and we think you may be it, and the track coach wants to talk to you. And I'm thinking, well, why didn't the track coach come and talk to me? <laughs> well, I, I learned pretty fast that our track coach didn't beg anybody to do anything. So that day, I went over to his office, and he said, um, yeah, I saw you run. You ran faster than some of my guys can run that I got on the track team. And I um, think you may be able to help our 4 by one relay team. And I'm thinking, 
Yeah. On track. And uh, I'm going back and do electrical engineering, and I'm struggling as it is, so I don't run track. And then I said, uh, well, what are we going to do, coach? And he said, he said, well, um, we're getting ready to go on a trip. And uh, we're going to the Gramlin relays, and then to the Kansas relays, and then to the Drake relays. Well, I knew where Gramlin was. I'd already been to Gramlin. I had heard about uh, Kansas. I wasn't really interested in going to Kansas. And I said, well, where is the Drake relays? <laughs> and he said, they're in Des Moines, Iowa. And I thought, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to a place that I've never been. And we came, we drove from Prairie View, which is just outside of Houston, to the Drake Relays. And for those of you, you probably remember when the, the football field was sunken and they threw the field events and did some field events down there and the track was up above the football field. It was the most magnificent place I'd ever been in my life. And on the four by one relay, on the last exchange, the, the curve was almost a 90 degree angle, so <laughs> everybody ran out of the lane over there. Uh, and there was never a yellow flag. Uh, it was a great place to run a track meet. And it was there that I heard names and saw guys like Jim Ryan. Uh, run and just really excite the crowd. Uh, and Jim wasn't alone. I mean, he had a lot of competition from people like Mark Winton Reed and over at uh, Wisconsin and, and uh, Ken Swenson down at Kansas State. And I mean, it, it was, and, and my own Felix Johnson at Pro Review. It was just fantastic. And I got to meet Randy Madsen who almost threw the shot up on the track. They had to shout at the people who were in that zone warming up to get out the way, shot, shot. Uh, and Jim, Jim Hines, who goes on to, to be the world record holder and the, uh, uh, in the 100 meter dash at the 68 Olympic Games. Uh, and I, I got to come to Des Moines Hour, not to a track meet, but to an event. An event where I saw little kids from students from all these little towns in Iowa, and their, their fans would come out in their school colors, and they're cheering for those, and it reminded me so much of home. And I know that for them, it was like for it was for me. It was making a dream of seeing different places come true in life. And then I met my wife in college. She shared that same dream, and for 52 years, we've been dreaming, and she's here with me today. So Rhonda, please stand up. So in those years where things weren't going real well for me, Rhonda never stopped encouraging me. Um, even when uh, uh, we got, after we got married and had a child and, and I'd be running in Europe and things like that, and I, I think probably for the first seven years we were married, I was always at a track meet on her birthday somewhere. <laughs> um, she still stood by me, and she's still the love of my life, and I am forever indebted to her for sharing my dream and staying in with me. So I say to those of you who are in charge of the Drake Relays, it is not a track meet. It is an event. The only thing we have in Texas that's bigger is the state fair. <laughs> it is an event, the Drake Relays. And you're making dreams of a lot of kids come true. And as you all know, track is such an humbling sport until it builds character. So what we're going to see tomorrow and this afternoon and Saturday are the leaders of America. And you will know that our country is in good hands 
because we're building character. And I'd like to say thank you again um, for me, for my family, and to all of you. Thank you very much.